Hello guys, it's the Tempster again. Been mucking around um, in the last few weeks, um, just doing bits and pieces here and there. But I found out a cool way to sort of do, well, mimic um, light scattering and sort of sun rays and stuff. So I thought it would be cool to show you guys. So sort of does this. It doesn't look amazing, but it's a start. Um, I could have probably been a bit sort of less lazy and put more hard work into it by sort of doubling the sensors here. Um, pretty much what I've done is I've sort of just got some layers um, of planes with uh, fog texture on um, from the how to make fog tutorial and um, just doubled them up, turned the shadeless off, and so they're grayish. And then um, I've got this one sort of thing that sort of looks like a sun, um, and I parent it to this, well, yeah, parented to it to this cube, which is like the collision sensor in the middle of the sun, because if I just made the sun the collision, then it's all over the place um, with accuracy and stuff. And then, pretty much, um, when you go along this way and the sensor collides with, well, the sun collides with one of these sensors, it, um, if you can see, they're sort of lined out. So this one will um, fade in when this um, collision sensor is hit, and the same for all of the other ones. Um, so yeah, uh, that's how I did that. Yeah, I'll show you guys again. Um, there's definitely still a lot of tweaking and stuff I could do. Um, I think only the ones on the sides look the best, but you guys get the main idea. Um, if you probably were to get double the double the sensors, it'd look a lot nicer and um, possible sort of like variation and stuff in the um, in each of the sort of sun flares and stuff um, but yeah for the sun rays texture it's really just a well, it's just a a sort of um, gradient it's really easy to make in GIMP, just drag from one side to another. And yeah, from white to alpha. Um, and then just duplicating it a lot of times to look sort of nice. And then joining it all together and giving it the fade out animation. Which you guys will be able to find out how to do in the how to make smoke. Um, so I just sort of use the same technique with the object color and um, keyframing this object color. And it works quite well, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys something cool. Um, do you guys reckon it would be cool to have a tutorial on it? Then feel free to leave a comment or something, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon.